What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're gonna to be doing another roof rack install and the reason why the DV8 one is coming off, which you may have seen a few months ago, was because there's one major flaw, which is I can't take off my roof panels with the roof rack on. That is a non-negotiable thing, especially for Ashley, my girlfriend. So we're going to change that with the hook road, which I know for a fact you can take those roof panels off. First step is to take off the DV8 roof rack and this one will find a home here in Sacramento. We have Gold Country Broncos and I know I'll hook someone up with a really great deal on this. And I'll actually be working on a roof rack comparison video with as many roof racks as I can get my hands on and compare all of the options out there so that way you guys can make an informed decision. As a disclaimer, Hook Road did send me this roof rack for review. I did pay a little bit of it, so I got it at a discounted rate, but I will be 100% honest and upfront with you guys if I do not like it or fit and finish isn't there. Got a clean slate, no more roof rack. So this is basically how all of you guys will start out. So now we are going to go ahead and open up the new roof rack. I will say this one feels a little bit heavier just by moving it around. So this is the new roof rack, it looks very well packaged, which again, doesn't look like there's any nicks or anything like that. Everything's nice and tight, nothing was moving around. So I'd say that's a win, but now we're gonna go ahead and undo all of this. You can also see it's a little bit different of a finish. This one's like a gray black hammer tone. So we'll see how that looks up there. But uh, yeah, I think this is all packaged really, really well. And we're gonna go ahead and start opening up all these pieces. Here we are with the instructions and these are nice and clearly printed. It says about two hours, two, three people to install. We're gonna test that out here. Looking at the hardware quality here, you can see we have these all laid out in different piles so that we can make sure we have everything we need. So that's just the way to keep organized. Really nice uh, hardware. The only one that I saw that wasn't super good quality was this one single one. So hopefully it'll focus. Hopefully you guys can see that, but the one on the right is missing a little bit in some sections, a little lighter of a paint coat. That's pretty much it. All the rest of them are completely blacked out, which is nice. Double checking, we have all the hardware. I think what they did was they mixed these two for the diagrams and the numbers. I'll make note of that and give them some feedback and maybe they'll update this on the instructions. Have the back half built. Everything is pretty much hand tight. You do wanna leave these brackets nice and loose though. We're kind of a pain to figure out which one's front and rear. So just keep track of the notches. Basically that's the way you're gonna figure this out. And the instructions have the notches there. Might be a little off, but you'll figure it out. And if not, you can always swap them over. Not that big of a deal. One of the things I really like about these uh, extruded crossbars is one, they're extruded. So you can actually put a, a, like a hex head in there and have the thread sticking up so you can mount accessories. But what I also like is that this was already threaded. So you just put these bolts right through and it's threaded already on the extruded crossbar. So you just need one uh, tool on it rather than having one on the backside too. So everything went together pretty easily. This is the back half and we are running out of light, but we're gonna try to get as much done as we can. And if we have to, we can always revisit this and make the recap video. But we do have light in the garage. So I'm gonna keep adding everything on, try to get this done tonight. And then we'll add like a little review, um, maybe later whenever it's nice and light out. One of the things I wanna note is how nice this back flush piece is. It really does add a good piece to it. Another big thing is the extruded crossbars are super easy to put on. We've got them loose right now, so that way we can still kind of move things if we have to. But these are just some of the tips along the way. Keep everything nice and loose until you have it up here. And then from there, you can clamp these on. The clamps do have foam on the inside pre-installed, so similar to the DV8 there. So I don't have to worry about metal to just plastic. There is some foam in there. As far as branding goes, not too bad here. I kind of like this. It's not over. Um, overstated or anything like that. It doesn't have any coloring. I don't like like contrasting colors. So I like how this is kind of hidden and it looks pretty good. Didn't film much of this, but we have the top bar on now. So now we have the roof bracket. We have the full fairing up front, which that is something different from my other rack was that I didn't have the fairing up top. Also really nice black hardware and a little bit of logo there. Kind of looks like the Ford emblem. So I guess you could always overlay that. But right now everything is bolted in there. It says to put this on first, separate from the middle part, and then do that rear part. So now we're going to assemble the basically the middle part here on the ground, move it over and bolt everything together on the vehicle. But everything right here is nice and tight. Give you a little bit of an idea of what it looks like from the front, which I think looks pretty good. This thing is coming together and I really, really like how it's turning out. We have the roof rack fully installed. We have everything tightened up. There was one that just didn't want to get fully tight. I think it might be stripping out a little bit. So they might need to send an extra extruded crossbar here, but we've put some Loctite on there so it'll hold for the night. And I think that's going to do the trick for now. Um, but I am going to reach out to him about that crossbar. But other than that, it looks really, really good. It does look a little bit lower and wider than the DVA, and that's because of how it sits down here. 
the branding looks pretty good. Let me hop up here. Looking across the roof rack, you can see how thick all of these sidebars or these crossbars are. You have the extrusion, they're up north near the top, but I'm gonna do an in-depth review and kind of comparison with this roof rack versus others on the market. You guys will see that review at another time, but right now the main thing was just get this thing installed. It's been raining like crazy here in Northern California. So you guys have probably seen that on the news and stuff. We're getting crazy snow up in Tahoe. We'll need a roof rack, especially for the summer because the plan is to get a rooftop tent. Once we get that rooftop tent, We'll really be putting this thing through its paces, going off road, hitting rocks, hitting different trails. This thing will do it all. So we're gonna have this thing super stout, have it fully fitted for camping, make it really easy so we can do those weekend getaways and take you guys along with us. Two pieces come together with this bracket right here, which is very, very stout. It even has 90 degree angles on the backside. Again, I'm gonna do an in-depth video about all of this and how it's constructed, how you get, put it together. I'm gonna have all of that covered. The main thing of today's video was just get it up there, let you guys see it and understand that yes, you can take off the roof panels with this roof rack, and it's also a very simple install. I would definitely recommend having a friend, maybe even two friends, but everything was put together with a three mil, four mil, and a five mil Allen T handle, and that was it. So you don't need all these sockets and screws and all this stuff or power tools. Everything's done by hand, even just wrist strength. The main differentiators of this is this cutout right here. This allows you to pop off your roof panel. So now Ashley will be able to enjoy the roof again or having no roof again. And also you can see that here, how it's cut out and then loops back down. So that way this has enough room to come up and out because this is all one big piece across both sides. I'll have the link for everything down in the description below. If you are interested in buying this roof rack, everything will be down in the description below. If you have any questions about this thing or how it installs or anything about it, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can but I wanna answer everything because so far I'm really impressed with this roof rack. Like I said, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.